came to clean up this city, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. Hey, Robo, can you help me out here? Be a man, pig. Why make such a big deal? How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dopehead buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke, or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me, because the guy broke your nose? As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Do not worry. According to my directives, there are several ways to convince him to cooperate. Uh, I ain't gonna let it reprogram my brain. We can talk, but don't let it drill into my head, okay? The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others hide their stash. We could collect nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been smashed by vandals yet. Nice shiny armor, officer. Wanna be my knight? Good evening. Are those two men bothering you? First, they harass my customers. Then they threaten to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We did nothing wrong. The music is too loud. My sound sensor measures 126 decibels. You are damaging your ears as we speak. Oh man, don't talk to me like that. I don't understand numbers. Nothing wrong, you say. I say, nothing wrong in breaking criminal bones. Maybe we should all practice what we preach. I don't 
know if there's something wrong with this beer or if listening to this silver nutcase made me sober up. Come on, man. Let's bail. Thanks, officer. It ain't raining. Drew a gun. Ask me for money. Only a moron steals from a beggar. That's what I said. But then he started shooting. And she takes off her top and says, Hey, this is a private conversation, pig. This Maurice. Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now, so make it quick. So you would not want to earn some money, would you? I don't! I mean, I do! I do want to earn money! But wait, your voice. You sound like. a future happy customer. Fucking Robocop! You want to bust me? Why don't you do a better job of finding guys who vandalize phone booths? I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone in this goddamn... What the fuck is it this time? Anybody home? Don't hide, Maurice. It's just a friendly visit. You like to do laundry? You should try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Robocop, you have to help me! The back of the red building by the supermarket! Apartment 6! There's some guys here! I think they mean business! Hurry! He's on the phone! Someone start shooting again. Make sure the kids hide under the bed.
missing, guys. I I'll never touch your stuff again, I swear! That's not why we're here. So what do you want? The money? I have your money. You only have half of it, and that's the problem. You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice. Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing cost is a good idea. Under what? But it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. Antitrust laws are there for a reason. Shit, Maurice! All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. We can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical! Not to mention illegal. What the fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. Get him! Oh shit, man! Why did you do that? What am I gonna sell now? There are serious charges against you, Maurice. However, you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs. Or I can jump into that pile of garbage below. A few bruises is better than jail. Do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that? I know the hood better than you do, cop. So try some different talk, or I'll jump. Even if you escape Sutta's out to get you, you will be safer in prison. I missed our meeting. I was busy, but he doesn't get that. Doing laundry is important to me. It relaxes me. If you cooperate, you can get a job at the prison laundry. You mean I eat and live for free? And I do what I like to do anyway? <sighs> I, I, I feel like I won the lottery, man! I'll tell you where these jerks kept the stuff, but I have to have our deal in writing. <laughs>